Okay, this is a cone beam CT of our patient for this morning. Unfortunately, he had an incident at age four where he had fallen and evulsed tooth number eight. Our game plan is to once again extract in a flapless mode and place our mineros within the socket, but also utilize a connective tissue graft. Okay, so now what we'll do is go ahead and prepare our facial pouch, and I'll do that with this dental curette. So again, this is perpendicular, this first incision, perpendicular to palatal bone. And here we have it. So now we'll introduce our Mineros with Gem 21, and I'm just using a perial probe to begin to condense this graft as we introduce it to the socket. So now what we're going to do is place our suture in order to secure that. And what I'm going to do is hold my flap up like this and very gently as Bridget just ever so gently pulls on that just a little bit. I'm going to feed, as you see here, the graft into the pouch that we created. Now before we close, one important uh, point here, and that is that we've obtained some PRF clots from our blood draw, and we're going to be placing these. So now you can see just with the crisscross suturing that we um, have some nice closure. However, I'll still use a couple three interrupted sutures across that incision line. So now you can see we've completed our case, and uh, in essence we very conservatively extracted this tooth in a very flapless mode. We were then able to graft that with uh, Mineros and utilize a pedicle tunnel connected tissue graft harvested from this right hemi pellet. Here we are at six months uh, post-op, and as you see, we have very good gingival contour. 